Okay, this relationship is um, when two people that are romantically involved. That relationship is a relationship in which, you know, the people involved, you know, are in different locations. When you're far away from your partner, I don't want to name it is London to Kaduna or Lagos to Ibadan. Two people who are romantically involved when they <clears throat> when they're dating, but not in the same geographical location. You know, they don't get to see every other time. So that's a distant relationship. As long as you guys are just far from each other, even if it is one kilometer. Yeah, I think distant relationship can work. But I know that it can work. But I love to be cozy with my guy. But yes. Usually work. Mm. Sometimes when you are together and then some people um, complain of the other person choking, like a partner choking the other person due to closeness and all of that, while some people complain that, okay, the distance is... So it depends. I think it's relative. I've, I've been in um, distant relationships before. I mean, distant relationships. So I think it can work. Yeah, it does work. But it's just... Hard, I know. Okay. For me, okay. Um, distance being healthy is relative to a part to the particular couple in um, question. So I think that's that's how I'm going to answer that question. Try as much as possible not to keep any secrets, and you know, I'm sure it can work. For example, that person can say, okay. Maybe the last time you guys spoke, oh, I want to do this, that, 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 that. You know, the person can spoil you on, like, ah, when I see you next, I want to appear that you have gotten this thing, or you have done that, or do you get? Okay, yes, to some extent, they are healthy. But if you're intimate, you guys can have video calls, get freaky freaky together, and all of that. So. If it can work then it should be healthy. That distance is, is just gives you that drive to, you know, try and achieve other things too and not just, you know, the whole boyfriend hounding you or girlfriend hounding you and all of that. So. Best ways to bond uh, for this type of relationship: chats constantly, you know, a lot of calls, pictures, video calls, gifts. Talk to each other as much as you want, then the bonding is going to be intact. Because even those that like beside each other every time, they still have this issue. Probably send gifts probably every th every two months exchange gifts exchange things that remind the other person of where you are having someone deliver you know cupcakes to her or teddy bear or flowers just some little little things that just keep that person shows that person that there's somebody somewhere you know that cares for you you know so and you trust each other also so what are we talking about you have a relationship already. A sweet one. Basically things that will remind the other person that, okay, this is where my partner is and this is what you're doing at this time. If you are the type that you bake, then you can send whatever you've baked over to them. There is There are video calls that you can use to spice uh, up the relationship. Even if you're not seen on a regular to be intimate, that is if you're intimate. But if you're not, I don't know how to solve this your problem. You know you are going to be seen in like, say December, you are super psyched, like every day you are counting down, like okay, so it's 50 more days to see you, it's 49 more days to see you and all of that. If you're extra freaky, I don't think that um, distance should be a barrier. Like if you guys were, you guys were best of friends before the distant thing happened, 
then there is no problem. As far as you are going to, of course, when there is a, when there is distance in relationships, it doesn't mean that you're going to be away from your partner for up to a year. If it's going up to a year, that means you're just wasting your time. We're not seeing each other. Yes, you guys will get a chance to talk on front of the plan that also when I'm coming over, I'm wearing this skimpy thing, you know. You guys will get the chance to plan very but distance, I think it helps intimacy. Yeah. Yeah, so trust is a major player in, in distant relationship. If if the whole relationship is over hundred, I think trust should be like sixty percent of it. You know, before maybe love takes another 30 and then 10 for whatever else. But trust is a major player when it comes to distant relationships. It would, it would even make you long more for your partner when... <laughs> it would make you long more for your partner when you're absent and then you'll be extra freaky. And then so you'll be looking forward to, oh my God, the next time I see him. The next time I see her, this is what's going to happen. Oh my God. And yeah, you'll be anticipating the, you have the picture in your head. So the best ways to manage is to communicate often, um, avoid anything that would make um, your conversations boring. Um, the key thing in a distant relationship is trust. Yes, love is there, um, but love might not always be enough. Communication, trust, understanding, what does? Yeah. When you trust yourself, it goes a long way for every relationship, anyway, both distance and not distance. The point is, all relationships even need management. The relationship these days is going to go easy. As a guy, you need to be able to trust her when she says she's in the company of her male friends. And as a lady, you need to be able to trust him when he says, oh, I'm hanging out with my female friends tonight, or, or I'm you know, dropping this girl off. Or this girl in my office is like, or oh, you're talking about a particular person too much. So for a distance relationship, understanding is key. Then when you communicate always. Then also, sharing of gifts. Come here, all those people that are not in distance relationship that don't to share gifts. People should come and learn how to share gifts. Both distance or non distance, share gifts. Gifts is important. Communicate often. Eliminate any um, um, boring factor. Uh, what else? What else? Visit each other often. Send gifts. Send pictures. Keep the other person abreast of your presence, um, of your activities. I mean, just lighten up the whole thing. And then the other person will be looking forward to seeing you every day till the next visit. Peace. You know, overseas or whatever. And, and many people tend to even like say, oh, when I'm in Lagos and the other person is Abuja, it's a distant relationship. But when the guy is in the US and you are in Nigeria, it's, it's true love. Like, how does that even work? You know, it's just being biased or having ulterior motives. <laughs>